Hi guys, my name is Spelfy and welcome back to another trading video. Now as you can clearly tell by my voice, I am mad, I am furious, I am infuriated, I am so pissed off, majorly pissed off. Now you may be asking, Spell, 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 why are you pissed off? Well, if y'all have been paying attention to my graph recently, or look at my graph real quick, you might have noticed that I went from a beautiful, oh God, a beautiful, bro. almost 2.6 million oh, value. And I lost it. I, I lost it. Look at 2.2. Yeah! Fucking lost all that. Look at it. 2.2. 2.6 million value. Beautiful. Almost 3 mil. I lost all of it. Fucking all of it. Look at it. Look at it. Roblox even changed my name. Look. Look what they changed it to. I am so fucking poor. I am broke. I'm literally. I have nothing. What the fuck do I have? Chicken? Freaking R Baron, what am I supposed to do? I lost it all. So you might be asking, Spell, listen, listen, how did you lose 400k? Well, it all started when I got this message. Okay, I was going to, I was, you know, sleeping and doing my thing. And, and look at this, guys, look at this. Lol, GG, get comped, loser, biker boys on top. Who the fuck are the biker boys? Who, what, where, when, why, how are the biker boys? Okay, guys. Are these the biker boys? Guys, look, it's, are these the biker boys? I think I need to censor this. Holy shit. Look, look what they spam me with. Captain Steelshanks recruiting staff. Value Captain Steelshanks recruiting staff. This guy couldn't be more true. Okay, guys, Rolling Mons needs to value CSRS. But what the fuck? I got beamed by the fucking biker boys. So you might be asking, okay, Spell, okay, this is a mouthful. What did they take? Who? Well, what did they take? What did they take? I'll show you what they fucking took. Look at this, all right? So we go to my inventory right here. All right, so they were looking through my account. They're like, what should I steal from Spell? Well, I could steal the amazing Dominus Puke Fuck this. I mean, the Dominus Prefectus, right? I could steal Prey. Yeah, I could, I could steal Prey. Prey would make me a lot of money, right? Right? No. They took baby girl troll. Baby girl fucking troll. They took my troll away from me. And they told they stole it from my hands. They said, fuck acne dominus. I'm taking your troll. So what else did they took? So they were like, huh, Mags. Mags looks beautiful. I love Mags. Mags is amazing. This item, no no one can solo this item. I'm gonna take the entire Shinestone I set from Spelfy. My fucking Shinestone I set! All of it! Fucking Ruby Radiance, Sapphire somethingus, Emerald X somethingus, I don't fucking know. They took my whole Shinestone I set and they were like, I could take chicken. The beautiful chicken. Well, did they decide to take? Demon the Trucker. They took my fucking Demon Trucker. Okay, my beautiful. Comic-Con San Diego exclusive Demon Trucker. Okay, look at it. It's worth 15 fucking million and I lost it because they decided to take my Demon Trucker from me. Can you believe that? That That is, that is fucking crazy. All right, y'all, I'm gonna stop with the bullshit. No, I did not lose 400K. If I lost 400K, I would be crying uh, sitting on the floor and eating ice cream. That's exactly what I'd literally be doing right now. But no, I did not get beamed out of 400k. So you might be wondering, okay, then why did you randomly lose 400k? All right, as you can see, it went to 2.2, and I've made some pretty big gains. I did just overpay a bunch for this chicken and whatnot. But yeah, so what happened? Well, if y'all have been watching my trading videos recently, y'all might know that I am a big, big, big fan of random rap items. Random rap items. So as y'all know, I love Ya Old, Baymaker, TSH, Serious Eye Scar, DT, Vegetable, Merlin's Cap, all these like random rap items. I am obsessed with them. I am actually fucking obsessed with these rap items. That might be completely weird. I might be like one of the most weirdest traders you've ever seen, but I love all these rap items. And it has been fucking hard to trade when people send on these rap items and put them inside the trade. Like I get offered like a freaking 5, 10K overpay on Valken of 4v1, but they include like Stip inside the trade. And I'm like, fuck, I don't wanna trade Stip, all right? Or I don't wanna trade Penneth. I don't want to trade BMS or fucking ASG, right? It's hard to trade. So I did y'all a big, big, big favor. And I decided to transfer 
all of my wrap items to a very close person and put it on their account. I took literally every single one. The only items I did not transfer was CSRS and 8-Hop. Okay, and um, I wasn't gonna transfer this meteor, but I traded this meteor that I've owned for four years and I don't own anymore. I got another cereal back and transferred it over, I, but I've literally transferred all of my wrap. Literally every single one except for my eggs and like my really small ones like freaking mustache Steampunk headphones like those like very small ones like the smallest one I transferred was like uh, this pork pie I literally did y'all a massive favor because if you look at my profile right now look Where are the not for trades? They're nowhere the only items I have marked not for trade are 8 hop CSRS and I guess this hammerhead. I am gonna transfer this hammerhead. I finally got this thing dude I absolutely love hammerhead um, yeah, I fucking love this thing, but I am gonna transfer this probably like tomorrow or I don't know what I'm gonna transfer I'm gonna transfer it eventually um, And the items that I've owned for a very long time since so you can see chill classic for 12 years TBC for 8, OBC for 12. There's probably a guardian exile here for like 13. Yeah, so Literally my inventory is so tradable now. It is very easy to trade in it Okay, the reason I decided to do this or the motivation behind doing this was that my logic was that someone would click, you know, like send trade, right? They would click to send the trade and they would see my massive inventory and they're like, well, I don't even know if I want to send this trade and man, this man's inventory is so fucking big and they would just cancel the trade and be like, ah, fuck it, never mind, I'm not going to do this. So as you can see, it was very annoying to trade with it, you know, I, I'm trying to, I'm still trying to make serious profit, but look at this, I was literally only, almost at 200 limiteds. Now I'm down to like 127 because I still have, you know, tons of eggs that I really like, but as you can clearly see, it is very hard to trade in my inventory until now when you can literally just easily send a trade and there's no bothersome items other than 8 hop hammerhead and csrs right so i did y'all a huge favor i hope this will allow y'all to send better trades to me and whatnot and y'all won't complain about that anymore i don't think y'all complain about that i just decided to take this in my own hands because i knew this was a like a bit of an issue that you know was just very annoying to deal with right but that is the motivation behind doing this, all right? Now, anyways, let me quickly um, uh, mention something really quickly. If y'all have been looking at my uh, Roblox scissor re-uploads, uh, I have been kind of blowing up recently. One of my videos literally hit 4K views out of fucking nowhere. Yes, guys, look at that, 4K views. And like, yeah, if y'all wanna check this out, bro, I'm re-uploading like the content of the best, former best Roblox creator Zizzer, the most kid-friendly YouTuber that existed, okay? And in fact, he was so kid-friendly that YouTube hated him so much, so they banned him off the platform, okay guys? So Zizzer was one of the most respected individuals on the platform, and YouTube unfairly banned him, so look at that, guys. But, yeah, as you can clearly see, um, yeah, got some uploads. You want to watch them these are saving my computer and whatnot i'm still uploading i've been a little bit lackluster i mean like i uploaded this two days ago yeah my, my schedule has been very wonky um but like i said if you want to check it out go ahead man i'm just uploading on that you know i'm uploading okay but anyways let's quickly um look at my uh inventory so obviously yeah y'all have noticed i don't own prey anymore and i don't own mags they're already on my wish list okay i'm not gonna lie i've been starting to like poise more than frozen I don't know why, dude. Poison just goes way better with Prey Factus. So, yeah, I love Prey, but I need to probably demand. And honestly, I can't see Prey doing good within the next few months. I can only see it dropping, I'm not gonna lie. Just because, like, I don't know, bro. It's just so stagnant right now. So I ended up taking, like, a decent offer with SSHF on it. But as you can clearly see, I own SSHF. I have not owned this face for literally two years, okay? And I've not owned Chicken for two years. This is actually my third time owning it. As you can see, I have two Valks. I have never owned Prankster on this account before which is crazy for someone with like two mil but i finally got it about 12 days ago and as you can clearly see i got one of my most favorite rares other than like mags and stone samurai bima or bma whatever you want to call it so i own that i got literally another uh blue clockwork headphones i have not owned madness on this uh on this account for a very long while i mean i already covered that in like another training video and yeah i've never owned robber baron I don't really like this rare, but it's whatever. I mean, I just I just got it. That's pretty much it. I'll talk to you why I own this. I got BBT. I haven't owned that for a very long time. Got some Gquats. I don't recall ever owning Elfiers on this account. I'm going to be completely honest with you, so I have no idea. And the whole period is being super annoying because of all these items that I literally cannot trade. But yeah, I got some Missuses. Never owned FDC on this account, which is pretty cool. Uh, I guess I could also say I've never owned friendly on this account, but like it's just a 5k item So who cares and uh, obviously I got my favorite hammerhead, but yeah, and this is actually the date 
of the um, the the date of the last trade that I, I covered in the uh, last trading video and to see um, April what is this the 15th I guess I don't know whenever I click on the date it just goes to something different like I clicked on the 13th but went to the 15th this is so weird I swear I'm not like crazy or anything yeah the 13th was the date of the um, the date you know the last trade I completed the last trading video but this was in my inventory it looked like prey mags Falk, uh, Al, AC, Bib, PV, Freckled, still own that. TMF, which I'm trying to get back. If, you, if y'all got TMF, you want to lowball for demand, bro, send me. If y'all got fucking Mall Visor, send me this, dude. I love Mall Visor. I love that thing so much. Yeah, as you can see, I still had, like, you know, a large portion of my wrap items. But, yeah, literally, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, other than that, I'm not going to hold y'all any further. Let's just go right to the completed trades. All right. So. This was the last trade I completed in the last trading video. I, I'm not doing like these because these were technically donations. Um, but this was technically the last like actual trade completed. And it's still obviously a good trade. Sinister is very low right now. And yeah, Mind Smasher. Yeah, I don't know. This lander just never goes. So yeah. And you can see I remember, you know, this was, yeah, just some donations for doing some favors. So the first trade I did for this trading video was, okay, so I remember doing this. So as y'all know, I have not messed around with projecteds for a long, long time. Back in 2021, I used to be pretty decent at flipping them, but uh, not really much anymore. Now, brass is like a very stable projected. If we go to this thing uh, really quickly. Yeah, brass is a very stable projected. Very cool top hat. I used to own this back in 2020, 2021. Yeah, it's a very, very stable projected. Um, it really does not move. And plus, this was a serial five. So I was thinking maybe I'll have some luck. So I gave a legit Sinus Midsummer for a blib and this brass top hand. I was like, oh, let's, I'm going to see it. Because this one person won. And I was like, all right, we'll try it. So the next trade I did. Okay, so here is the BSDC trade. So when I did this trade, this was a 10K overpay on BSDC, which is a massive, massive approval because Bib has failed since doing this trade. AC has failed since doing this trade and pv is literally about to drop bsdc is now getting like 50k overpays okay i got myself a 50 or 40k overpay on mine in a mess which i'm all right with because i profited i profited big time and obviously bib and ac have been doing horrible well according to rollymon's ac has been doing horrible no it's not they just drop it because this item upgrades for other items it's literally just natural trading and so rollymon's will just be like eh, i'm gonna drop it eh, i'm so funny okay and yeah so literally like basically like a 4v1 or i guess a 4v2 but like this item is so small like it doesn't even matter it's, it seems like a 4v1 to me in my opinion so yeah obviously a very good trade i was super happy with doing this massive approval because of fucking how good this trade is bro and uh yeah so let's go to the next trade uh i randomly sent this out i guess it's a win honestly i couldn't tell you if i if i think of this as approved or not like yes it's a, it's it's a win um blib is good demand though mildly disturbing is good demand this egg is just randomly 700 i i, I couldn't tell you honestly i'm gonna put this as plausible are you like, sure about that maybe like because i feel like blib can do better i feel like these like white crazy kitty and Fr frankie caps kind of inflated so like i'll just put it as plausible because honestly i don't know this this trade has shifted many times since doing this so i was just kind of like nah whatever whatever all right yeah, so here's the trade I did with that brass top hat. The the person really wanted brass top hat because it was a serial five as well. And I really wanted smart chocolate. So as y'all know, I love smart chocolate cap. Nobody's been sending me this for low balls. Send me for low balls, all right? Send it to me for like 2K value and I'll accept easy, no problem. Um, but yeah, so I gave that and I got smart chocolate. So basically just a 1K low ball uh, to get smart chocolate. And I gave, uh, I got this for 8K low ball. So like a 7K win. So obviously, you know, I guess I could put this as a proof. Like this is pretty decent. Um, but the thing is brass top hat really doesn't move. So like, is it stable at 17K? Nobody really can tell. Um, but yeah, let's go to the next trade. Okay, yeah, this was a pretty solid trade. Um, so I was trading with this one dude. He liked TMF and I love TMF. I told y'all I wouldn't trade TMF, but I did. And yeah, I took a decent overpay on it, but like I got a bunch of really low demand wrap items. All right, I love spiked fedora, but like I don't know, man. I'll I'll probably trade for it once I get like most of my wishlist items. I just yeah, see sold for 12k. It doesn't really sell too well. I'm not gonna lie, this guy has like three of them. But I was just kind of like yeah, I don't know. But I'll take it. I'll I'll risk it, you know, because he's giving a decent overpay. But like. Yeah, I don't know. These items are all super low demand. I used to really want lightweight. I believe Fave actually used to hoard this thing. So yeah, I just took this. I guess I'll put it as approved. I mean, because it's an overpay. Uh, but yeah, I am still trying to get TMF back. So if you do own it, you want to lowball it for demand, go ahead and send it. Send me it. And let's go to the next trade. 
All right, this is an approval um, solely because 8-Bit Rainbow Bowler is kind of projected. When I did this trade, it was like 2K. So this was like literally like an equal upgrade into Bia with Wrap. So I guess, yeah, like I said, I'll put this as approved because, you know, it's an equal upgrade into some pretty decent demand, I would say. Um, but yeah, I did trade off my favorite 8-Bit Rainbow Bowler. I did get this back. Um, like I said, there's this, this one dude that's been hoarding it for literally no reason in particular. I don't know why. Like, I swear, hoarding is like at an all-time high right now. I have no idea why people are hoarding items so much. Um, but yeah, that's literally, I don't know, man. It's just been happening. So yeah, but good upgrade into demand. Let's go to the next trade. All right, the next trade I did was this. I traded my Isis, you know, my favorite, one of my favorite immortal swords on the catalog for like a pretty solid overpay because this person really wanted it. And I got, you know, I got some relatively trash items. I did get this pork pie that I really wanted, but I got Winter Fairy alongside the trade. And as you can see, it's a pretty decent overpay for this item, which is why like I think Isis is super undervalued. And I did try to immediately get this back because I love this Immortal Sword. I'm not just going to trade this off and just forget about it. Fuck no. I love Isis, bro. You all don't understand. I love Isis. All right. Not the terrorist group. Isas. That's literally the acronym of this thing. I-S-A-S. -S, okay. Immortal Sword, American Splendor. But yeah, I took this trade. It was decent, but I obviously had to get rid of these two, especially this Night of the Night thing, bro. This thing is... This thing is cheeks, bro. It sells so bad. It's awful. Yeah, fuck that item. All right. But let's go to the next trade. All right, the next trade I did actually uh, ended up doing like really well because Afbia has done very well since doing this trade. Obviously, this was a month ago. When I did this trade, I think it was like an equal trade for Afbia and I got this like random ad. I did have to have to add some Robux, but obviously literally like a month later, it's a pretty decent trade because I'm winning like a bit. Um, but I said I wasn't trading Skeleton Lord Wizard. I had two of them. Okay, I love Skeleton Lord Wizard, but I don't want two of them. All right, so I did this trade. Uh, pretty, pretty all right overall. Um, so I'll put this as approved, but yeah, let's go to the next trade. Uh, I was walking around uh, looking for people to trade with. I saw this dude and he wanted Bia. And so I did this trade with him. At the time, I think this was like equal. So obviously it's a pretty decent win at the moment. Um, but I did, you know, manage to uh, trade off the Knight of the Night and Lightweight. I did have to give up Bia, but it's all right because I got an upgrade into Green Whistle Wink. And as you can see, Green Whistle has done relatively well since completing this trade. So yeah, let's go to the next trade, which is, uh, yeah. So he also wanted Sta, so I just literally upgraded again for a Wink. And, you know, a month later, it's played out relatively well. So, and I also got this really cool Universal Fedora. I did trade off Heart Hat and Tickets Tie. I really love these two, so I am trying to get them back. If you want to send me, go ahead. I will trade for those. All right, here's another trade I did. Uh, I think this person wanted a gear, and the only gear I had at the time was like Steel Shanks and this Golden Rope Head. And so I literally basically kind of downgraded to get some more demand winks and as you can see this trade has played off uh, relatively well since doing this about a month ago and i also got this azurath uh, fabric egg which is really really awesome i love this egg it's a beautiful addition to my collection let's go to the next trade hey i said i would shout this guy out when i did this trade with him and now literally a few trading late tr a few trade trading videos later i am now shouting you out jay jay santis plays i don't know if i covered you in my avatar uh rating video but um shout out to you for completing these two trades with me um yes this red sleepy owl is projected um but i just wanted it i don't know why so i just upgraded it and the person accepted and i did another trade with him i upgraded it into diy clocker which has done a lot better since doing this trade um but when i did this i think it was overpaying like a bit or something like that but again shout out to jay stannis plays uh for trading with me i really do appreciate it i got this cool diy clockwork i did trade off uh freaking franken cap i don't really like franken cap that much but it's it's whatever it's whatever all right let's go to the next trade okay so with this trade i got super super fucking lucky so i was you know randomly walking around trading hangout and i checked my trades and i see this inbound so when i got this inbound this was a 14k overpay on valk with di and dupa and this trash officials hat okay and i was like dang bro i kind of i might want to accept it because number one di is super underrated actually let's go to this let's go to its uh, roymon's profile real quick yeah di is super underrated i think it actually started lowballing it but i'll talk about that look dude this item went from 400 to 190 like bro how the fuck like it's crazy bro it is actually genuinely super crazy but yeah, this was genuinely super crazy that DI was doing super bad and finally stabilized. And Valk was at a very, how do I say this? It was at a tipping point. Like it was at a very big tipping point. So I was looking at it and I was like, dang, Valk might start dropping because SSHF and Sky are doing so good right now. So I was talking with the guy and he's like, I don't know if I want to add. I might cancel the trade. And as soon as they said that, I was like, fuck it, man. I got to take it. So I accepted the trade and literally 
a day or so after of doing this trade. Actually, when did I do this? I don't even remember when this was. So one month ago, it's 4.30. So April 30th. Yeah, so literally a few days after doing this, check this out, bro. Dropped 30K within the span of a week. Just fucking lost 30k like that and this turned into a 40k overpay obviously an automatic approval and i will show you the trade i did that i traded off di with was amazing so i will show you that so i did i made some actual gains with di so it has been an amazing pair of stores i don't think i've i think i've owned like venom shank and that's it um but this is the second classic sword i've owned dual dual lumi or di so absolutely amazing of a trade obviously i got this really bad officials hat thing but yeah let's just go to the next trade hey look at that it's a trade with highly wanted hey man i wanted the yellow bucket hat so i sent him this trade i went on his stream and i was like hey highly i sent you a trade i told you highly that this tiara does fucking good and this yellow bucket hat goes nowhere this krampus and yellow bucket hat go nowhere so that's why this was a good trade are you sure right. about that so i think he countered with like one of my eggs i've owned for four years that's why i swapped it with this shyness egg because i love my four-year-old eggs but yeah all right, let's go to the next trade now. All right, y'all, this will be the last trade I'm gonna um, cover in this trading video. So this is the trade I did to get Isis back. Yes, I traded off my beloved AMC, and yes, I traded off my beloved AHOP, but I had to do this, bro, because Isis is so overpowered right now, and this thing is just absolutely amazing. I love this sword so much. So literally like a month after doing this, it's still a 5K overpaid because none of these items have really shifted on either side. Uh, really so yeah i just did this trade um i'll put this as like approved probably because like isis gets amazing overpays like amc is going nowhere it's sometimes low balls so like but yeah so i'll put this as a pretty all right trade all right y'all i appreciate you all so much for watching this trading video i hope that y'all learned a little bit from this and you can see how much my inventory has been dramatically shifting and obviously we'll get, eventually get to the trades where i traded uh, mags prey etc and as you can see all these other cool items that i have now but i'm literally just trying to trade for profit at the moment um but like i said you know 2.2 mil so i've been gaining a little bit i'm waiting for valk chicken prank freaking maybe even madness fdc g quad to raise like all these items deserve raises but rolling mods is so super slow even sshf bro you know as much as i don't really like sshf it does deserve a raise so but yeah other than that guys i want to thank you all so much for watching this trading video i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you guys later Bye bye